and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. And today we are getting into the PC resistance, okay? We're getting into the new, I think it's N20 or something like that pod in the original line. They just released, I think a few weeks ago now, and I've been a little bit slow about reviewing it. I've actually had the package for like a week or two now, but I haven't opened it because I've been waiting for it all. So let's get into the package. I honestly forgot what other pods I bought because I did want to decrease the shipping value of my package. Um, so I included a couple other pods that we can go into, um, but I know I bought the new one, so let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look at this, shall we? So it looks like I ended up getting a virtual line Costa Rica, which I'm really, really excited about. I don't really get a lot of Grand Longos in the virtual line. I actually really do like them because I think they're like a nice enough volume to kind of use as like your shaken espresso espresso without having to brew that many pods at a time. Um, but that's just me. I'm not gonna say that it works every time, but I do really like it. And I do like Costa Rica specifically. So I do highly recommend that pod. Um, and generally it's a intensity seven out of 11. So take that as you will, but I do really like it. Let me know in the comments if you also like Costa Rica because it's become one of my more favorite Grand Longos. I think I also really enjoy, um, honestly, I don't really have a bone to pick with almost any of the Grand Longos in the virtual line. I think I really enjoy Ethiopia as well. I know that's definitely TJ's favorite. And I like, I think the Arundio pod as well. Um, and I think Inosio, I think is another one. I could be wrong, but I honestly like all of them. I don't have a bone to pick with them. So take that as you will. The other one I got was the Double Espresso Chiaro Sleeve. And again, one of my favorite Double Espresso staples for the Virtual line. Highly recommend Double Espresso Chiaro. And I've been taking my time to go through literally all of the Virtual pods in the Virtual line, of course, as well as all the original line pods. So I haven't had a lot of time to kind of go back and buy each set of pods again, unless, for example, maybe a friend gifts them to me. So this is actually my second whole time in general in the past year that I've actually done Double Espresso Chiaro. Not because I didn't like it, but because I bought it like the first time around because it was very raved. Everybody really enjoyed it. And I can definitely see why, because I also really enjoyed it. But I wanted to try other Double Espressos along the way for the past year. And I just have been prioritizing spending my money on those rather than pods that I've already tried before so definitely recommend this and it's an intensity 8 out of 11 so still fairly like I guess medium intensity not super intense whatsoever I think scurrow in the virtual line is definitely a lot more intense than for example in the original line and the last one we have which of course is the reason you clicked on this video today we have the n20 pod from the Nespresso original line or the number 20 pod don't at me I'm I don't know things okay so I'm assuming it's the number 20 pod and it, I guess it kind of has a cool history. It took them like 20 years to make or whatever it may be. And we'll get into that, I guess, in just a second. But this set of pods is a little bit weird. If you guys have ordered Nespresso pods from the website or online, you know that when you get a sleeve, it usually comes in sleeves of 10. This one only comes in increments of five. So you get one is a sleeve of five um, pods. And I think that's just because I guess it's more expensive to make, limited edition, you know, nice publicity stunt, I guess, so to speak. But I am really excited to try it. Um, I'm assuming it's very well crafted, hopefully. And I did decide to buy two five pod sleeves, which would be a regular uh, sleeve for Nespresso. I will say like just a sleeve of five is probably what it would generally cost to have a regular sleeve of 10 in the original line. So these are expensive, but it was a little bit weird. So usually I don't like committing to copy. Like I will go for the smaller packaging, but in this case, I don't like the idea of only having five pods because if I do really like it, I guess, um, it's really annoying to only have like one pod left over. Even if I don't like it, I don't like having one pod left over because you Usually I either make my lattes with two pods or I make a really big latte with four espresso shots. So it's kind of weird to just have this one outlier and I wanted an even number. So I did decide to bite the bullet and, and got two sleeves of five for a total of 10. So hopefully we like it, it works out, but I say we get a little bit more into this pod. Oh, it really came with another package y'all. Okay, anyway. So, okay, it does have a cute little, you know, like description about it on a piece of paper. We'll, uh, we'll read that. So it says, <clears throat> our journey to create this exceptional tasting coffee began almost 20 years ago. 
In Colombia's lush and mountainous terrain, local AAA or AAA program farmers cultivated a bespoke Nespresso variety with dedicated care. The resulting coffee boasts a rare and refined taste, enticing orange blossom aromas in harmony with fresh citrus notes born of the terrain. Certified as specialty by Coffee Quality Institute, Ochre, uh, discover our newest Q coffee, one that gives you a taste of what's possible when pioneers harness their craft to reimagine coffee. Awesome. So again, they recommend it as an espresso, which that was the only way I was gonna have it, between me and you. Only way I was gonna have it, honestly. Um, and then the Aromas are supposed to be orange blossom and there's supposed to be some citrus notes. So thank you so much espresso. That's awesome So and then it, you know, it also comes with this cute little like nice little packaging Where you can see the five pods and I'm not I'm gonna be honest. This is a really cute little design now, Let's get it a little bit more centered here It's really really cute. I'm obsessed with it. Nothing really labeled here, but I, I really like it I think it's really cute and they have that little n20 label on the top here so yeah, um, I'm really excited to try it. I say we get into it finally. Um, I know they say, again, it's supposed to be in like a certain glass that helps with the, you know, flowing of the aromatics to my nose. I'm too broke for that. So we're just gonna do it as a regular espresso cup, okay? So we're in it together, let's do this. Okay guys, I brewed it. I can't believe I brewed it. I <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit too poor to be drinking this. I don't know if y'all ever get that vibe, um, but I, I sometimes feel like I don't deserve this luxury right now. I should definitely not be drinking this, but I'm excited for it. So honestly, at the top, beautiful, beautiful crema. I do smell a lot of fruitiness and acidity, like right off the bat, but it's not truthfully as pungent as the Starbucks Remix Reserve in terms of like floral, you know, aromatics. So this is interesting. I do think this is a nice pod to bring out in the fall. Um, definitely could have been a spring pod too. They could have released it then and I think it would have been really, really nice, really yummy as a spring treat, but let's taste it. Wow, that is acidic. I can, yeah, that, that's a very, this is a very acidic pod. It's very, very fruity almost kind of like wine-esque. I'm kind of liking it. It's very complex. And the body is really nice. I think it's like, it's one of those things where it like hits your tongue in a very like fruity, very acidic way. But then as it's going down, it's very smooth. I could easily see this in like a maple cardamom latte. That's what I'm craving this in. And honestly, guys, I might make it that way. So I'm obsessed. I kind of like it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of at an eight out of 10 range. Like, will I spend this same amount of money for this pod? No, but I do really like it. I don't know if it's like worth, you know, in terms of taste, like I can tell it's fresh. I can tell it's very acidic. It's nice. It's complex. But I do think you can get at least something relative. I mean, even the Starbucks remix pods were really expensive too. So I guess technically you really can't get it anywhere else um, in Nespresso for a, a decent price. So I understand why they made this a little bit more expensive. I don't really know. I guess like the closest one I can think of in like a not so expensive way or a non-limited edition way is probably some of the Spirazone like Italiano lines um, in the original line. But truthfully, I feel like if you really wanted like a packed punch you know, Nespresso pod where it's really acidic, very fruity, um, and not super aromatic in my opinion, but again, it could be the cup that I'm, you know, taste testing in. Obviously they say I'm too poor and I need to have a certain glass, but regardless, I do think that this is a good pod. I do encourage you to at least get a sleeve of five just to try it out, maybe not get the whole 10, but I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that I bought this. It's something new. It's something different. And I think we go and make a nice big latte and let's make a cardamom or a maple cardamom latte together. I'm really excited for this.
she's beautiful. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Wow. I really like the espresso with this combo because I think the espresso is acidic enough and light enough that it's not like weighing down the maple or the cardamom in this case. I think all the flavors really complement each other. I think, um, you know, there's so many different like floral, fruity flavors that could go with this espresso. And I think that it's flexible enough that as long as you're complementing like a pod's acidity, it should be fine with most of these things. Like it would go really well with caramel or vanilla, even like a cinnamon and honey. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Honestly, if I really wanted to go a little bit of a step forward, I probably would have made like a maple honey latte. I think those flavors would have been a little bit better than the cardamom. But overall, I, I really like it. It's so good. And as you guys saw, I got this maple oat beverage from Trader Joe's and it literally just makes this latte so good. Oh my gosh, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. It is a little bit thick, so you have to shake it kind of like their eggnog. I don't know if you guys have had their eggnog beverage, but you have to really shake it because it is alternative and doesn't mix super well with the lattes unless you shake it really well and stir it into the latte really well. But other than that, once it's in, it doesn't separate or anything like that. It's really, really good. So yeah. Anyway, this recipe, solid 11 out of 10. I really like it. I'll post it down below with all my other links, um, as well as like a little like website to where, of course, the Nespresso website where I got the pods. Um, and then this recipe as well, and any of my other links that I find pertinent, like my Amazon storefront, if you guys would like to get the syrup or anything like that that I show here today, I think I have it up on my Amazon storefront. But other than that, I really appreciated getting to share this recipe and, and share my opinion about this new number 20 or N20 pod that just released from Nespresso's original line. And please let me know what you guys think about the pod. I'm eager to try your guys' recipes. Please comment down below how you guys enjoy it. But yeah. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next couple of weeks, and I think for our next video, we're going to be trying the new Starbucks Holiday Blend Pod. So I will see you guys on the flip side.